Hey there, so I just wanted to kind of give you my thoughts and opinions and things I noticed in a recent, um, I'm going to call it a TV spot, I did see it on Twitter, but I didn't watch it, then I saw it on YouTube and did watch it. So, uh, I'm just going to use the term TV spot for The Last Jedi, entitled Awaken, it's only 45 seconds long. So, but I just kind of thought, well, might as well watch it again, watch it and react to it more specifically. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of point out stuff I noticed because I already watched it and I, and I found it to be a pretty good short little snippet to keep, to keep people interested before the movie comes out in about a month and a half I would say. And I'm pretty sure they get more small TV spots like this and playing in the future though. I'm not sure I actually will be doing all of them in the future. It's just one possibility. But I thought I'd do this one for sure. So yeah, let's just begin. So we begin with the Millennium Falcon on Apto, and it seems to be Twilight time. I really like this shot. Luke walking into the Millennium Falcon's cockpit and then looks like he's turning it on. I just, I don't know why, but I saw that I just kinda like that. Oh, also his, um, clothes is much darker here than it was at the end of the, of the Force Awakens. Just something I noticed. Let the past die. Let the past die. That's the only way to become what you were meant to be. There's some repeat rises. Whoa, 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 I did not notice that scene the first time. So we got Snoke's guards. Snoke looks like he's on a throne. That looks like... Hux. And he said, Rax, I've been, watch I've been listening to the first... I mean, the... Um, the audio book for Aftermath Empires and so that's why that got in my head. But yeah, it looks like Snoke's throne room. Very... Red. <laughs> Because I saw that scene. I need someone. Yeah, you saw that scene. Come on! You saw this before. So we have the Millennium Falcon on crate, but that but there's a much funner scene there. But nice undershot of it. Oh, so we got Poe in one of those resistance ski speedo type things. So it looks like the open cockpit, which doesn't make sense. But we get another view of them here, which um, I think we saw in the trail. But yeah, definitely a big battle. Yeah, this scene where the Millennium Falcon seems to be shooting out of the plane, I just find it neat. And then, okay, so at the end, Luke says this is not going to go the way you think. Who knows what that's talking about in movie, but I suspect there is also a message to us, the viewers. By this is not going to go the way you think. They've been talking about that a lot, I think, with the last Jedi, the color red, the, the term the last Jedi, our speculations. By it's not going to go the way you think, it's like they're prepping us for, because they probably saw a lot of, and so I have been, I think this is not going the way you think, sounds to me like I heard it in another trailer before or something, but um, could, I'm thinking it's also a message directed to us, the fan base. Cause we all watched the trailer, and the 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 trailer that was released early October, I believe. Yeah, and how like okay, what they're showing here, I said either the ring too much or they're throwing in a lot of red herrings, and now they're showing this is not going to go the way you think. It's like I feel like they're actively making sure we're second guessing everything we think to keep us surprised. Which is actually a good strategy. They might have revealed something, but we're like, nah, they're not going to do that, and then they will, and we'll be blown away by it. But that's kind of a more offhand speculation. But what I'm thinking they're going to be, they're going to do a lot with some marketing is going to keep us on our toes, keep us second guessing every possible prediction we have. That way we can have, there's no thought one out until we see the movie. 
the movie itself. So that's what I'm thinking they're trying going to be they're trying to do. And based off of what they've shown in the last in the trailer, which seems like it could give away stuff, but we know they pop they wouldn't. So we're saying, okay, they're cutting the scenes in such a way and editing them to throw us off our base, give us some red herrings. And now they're telling us this this is not going to go the way you think. Make us guess, okay, so what what's going on? Like, this is actually a pretty good strategy. It keeps us thinking about it long after we've actually watched the show. Something that's, in my opinion, quite interesting, to say the least. But um, actually, I'm going to end that here. I, this was supposed to be short. Anyhow, it might have been a little longer than I intended. But thank you for watching this kind of quick big review thing, you can call it. I don't know. But thank you for watching it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future Star Wars content. Excuse me, by the way. And as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are. May the Force be with you. Always.